Morning YouTube, it's Joe here from South East London, part-time eBay reseller. Um, Saturday morning, just been out to the car boot sale, um, just sort of whiz through the things that I picked up and a couple of things that I've sold. Um, interesting interesting day at the boot sale, there's a couple of deals I missed out on. Um, just getting loads more people coming out to the boot sale now, the weather's getting better and it's lighter. So yeah, it's uh, trickier to grab things and get things, but still did all right. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you what I, what I got. Picked up a... Um, Nice pair of G-Star Raw, um, these are Elwood Heritage Loose 34-32 jeans and I've always done really well on men's G-Star Raw jeans, a lot of them tend to go to Ireland, I don't know why that is, but yeah, I do really well on them, really nice condition, they've got the cinch at the back there and all that, so yeah, they were good, they were six quid. Picked up some um, media stuff, um, I paid 50p for these top three um, PS2 games, this is uh, Peter Jackson King Kong, I wouldn't ordinarily buy it, but it's um, still sealed, um, so you get about eight quid for that or so and then these two games i couldn't i'd not i'd not heard of them like there's so many playstation 2 games and it turns out that there's not really much money in either of them but they're sort of these games which look a bit like silent hill you know or resident evil and i just thought oh, i'll just take a chance on these two games um but yeah there's not, not really any money in those might be sort of get three quid back on each of them so they were all 50p Paid £1.50 for Crash Roth of Cortex on the Xbox, that does really well. Pound for Star Wars Battlefront 2, I do 1 and 2 for a bundle for about 10 to 12 quid. Taito Legends paid a quid for that, I try and do the two of those for about 10 quid as well. Now this is the Exploder, this is like the cheat disc, there's not much money in this, paid a pound for this. Might get about 5 quid back for it, it's, it's never been used, so that was, that was one of the reasons I got that. Something I don't really pick up, tend to, um, this is a Logitech um, M185 wireless mouse, brand new and sealed, that was a quid, so I thought, you know, I'm not going to lose out on that. Bought a couple of big box PC games, uh, this is X-Wing vs TIE Fighter, this is a pound, it's all in there. Um, I've had, there's a, there's a, I've had this on just like the, just the normal PC version, not the big box edition of it, and done quite well on it. And there's one which is the three games, the three X-Wing games together, and that does really well. The big box of that does well as well, but I just had, yeah, I just got that. So that's about a 10 quid game, that's a pound. And then this one, Ace of the Pacific, um, it's really heavy. Um, it's the, it's the, it's got a floppy disk in there, and then it's also got an expansion in there um, on CD. So there's a guy trying to sell it for 35 quid online, 30 quid or something like that online. I don't know what I'll get back for it, um, but yeah, I paid a pound for that. Got a couple of green big uh, Lego base plates. Um, they were 50p each. The guy, I gave the guy two quid, so I gave him a pound each, and he said, no, 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 he gave me a pound back. He's a guy I do a lot of business with, so that was good of him. He's also the guy who has loads of CDs, but somebody had got there before me today and bought the whole lot, so he'd obviously been watching my video about music magpieing CDs or something. No, he hadn't. I mean, uh, but <laughs> he he's probably had, was on the same idea as I was, so he'd got all of those, which was a bit of a shame, but there we go. In terms of these, these two pairs of trainers, I paid 13 quid for these two. This is a pair of massive size 11 Nike Air Force Ones, uh, high white ones, in really good condition. Um, yeah, a bit mud on the bottom there, I'll just scratch that off, that'll be fine. And then these sort of pink patent uh, girls kickers, bit marked around the rims, but that'll all wash up, that'll all wipe off really neat, nicely. The tread is really good, and I should get about 25 to 30 quid back on those, they're really nice. These were 50p, these are terrible, well not terrible, yeah they're pretty terrible condition, I'm just going to put those in the washing machine, they're my size, size 9, so I just thought I'll have them and keep them. And then um, a couple of nice pairs of Jordans, these are Nike uh, Jordan, these are Nike Air 1s I think, 1 Jordan flights or something like that. Got a tiny bit of wear to the heels here, but it's, um, yeah it's not too severe. Um, they were 5 quid, and then a pair of these, I've had these in the past, these do really well, these are Nike Air Jordan Retro 3s, um, yeah, and done really well with those in the past. These are of women's size, size 5, but should do well with them. Bit of cracking on the rims, but that often happens. Can't do much about that. Then uh, I picked up some ink. This was really irritating. There was a there was a stall which had loads and loads of ink. It's one of those ones where you almost don't don't want to ask too many questions because they had loads of boxed ink, Epson stuff, HP stuff, and... I asked the lady how much, like, a few bits were, and she had a, a sheet of paper, and on her sheet she had sort of the shop prices, so she was like, oh, this this sells for 17 quid in the shop, so I can do it for, I don't know, like, half of that, what's half of that, 8 quid, and she was sort of going through this list, you know, like this, you know, these are, oh, those are 20 quid, so you can do them for 10, and I sort of oh, I thought, oh, that's, that's going to be too expensive. And and there was also another, there was a, her, her, I don't know if it was her husband or her partner was there as well on the stall, 
And I looked up a couple of them and sort of thought, oh, maybe for five quid they might be worth it if I could knock them down to that. In the meantime, there was one guy, he had a bag, and he was literally just clearing all this ink off the um, table. I mean, there must have been about 100 cartridges and stuff like that. And I went to the guy, I said, how much are these? And he goes, oh, um, they're free for a tenner, mate. So I was like, oh, so I picked, obviously picked them up. And I was like, and these ones, he's like, yeah, free for a tenner on those as well. So if I'd known, I should have just gone, I would have gone straight to him. He was going to sell it all for a really good price. I could have made an absolute mint. So, yeah, it's irritating that I went to the woman who sort of said these really high prices and the guy was just selling them off. So, yeah, missed out on a, on a few bits there. But still, these ones do all right. I should get about, pay, I should get about not 10, maybe I'll do the three of them for 30 quid. This HP, there was a few of these, but that guy had already like rounded them all up. They go for about 12 to 15, and these not quite so much, these 901s, about, about 8 to 10 quid. So yeah, a bit, bit irritating, but still got still got plenty of stuff to be getting on with, which is good. That's I can list all that this week, um, so that's good. Um, yeah, these boards are good, these green base plates, they sell so quickly, they sell really, really well. In terms of stuff out the door uh, today, I've been, I sold those, um, all my Sims 2's games uh, for 40 quid just yesterday. I've sold this pair of um, Nike Air, Air Maxes, um, I got 35 quid for those and they're 15 quid shipping, they're going to Switzerland. And then these two um, sort of manga DVDs, uh, they were the ones which I paid 20p for each, and I sold those for 14 quid for the pair, and they'll go side by side in a um, in an F3 bag, so they go as a large letter in an F3 jiffy. And I tend not to look at DVDs, but this is sort of just one of the reasons why it is every, every now and then just worth running your eye over people's collections of DVDs, sort of manga stuff... Um, yeah, this is this Studio Ghibli stuff. There's certain stuff out there which is worth it. I mean, don't get me wrong, 98% of DVDs are worth nothing. But, you know, there are some ones worth looking out for. So, yeah, that was a, I was pleased with that sale. Um, I'm not going out tomorrow. There's another big boot sale where I live, but I'm still sort of doing the marathon. I've got to get up to 16 to 18 miles tomorrow. So that'll be what I'll be doing tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, I picked also, I pick, also picked up a load of Skylanders. Um, in Smith's, Smith's Toys, they were selling their Series 2 battle packs off for a quid and uh, some of their Giants figures, yeah, the Giants series and stuff like that. So I took a chance on those and put some bundles together. So I'll let you know how I get on with those. Um, if there's a Smith's where you are locally, it might be worth having popping in, seeing what they've got. They don't have any left online, but you never know. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, have a good week. Have a good weekend and I'll speak soon. Cheers. Bye.